Hey y'all, I'm gonna be reacting to Madelka Magica Maho Shoujo Ma Ma Gaiden episode 2. I probably. F oh, it's a Magio record, Maho Shoujo Madoka Magica episode 2. Oof, man, that title's a mouthful. And I'm gonna start the reaction in 1 0 go. Let's see what we get. Okay, that place definitely looks like a hospital of some kind. I mean, the pictures are flashing pretty quick. Okay, so it is. So, going by the similar hair color, I'm assuming that's going to be that chick is at Oha's sister then. I actually do wonder how he's going to factor into this story. Okay, so it was curing a disease of some kind. But going how wishes. But since Louis's disease was cured due to Cupid's wish, then then what exactly? Then what exactly happened after that, man? It's kind of what I like about this. It's got a nice mystery angle to it, because all things considered, and that's the type of angle it should work with, since. For the most part, we know that QB isn't exactly a queakly kink, squeaky clean character, and we know what happens if the gemstones aren't cleaned and all that, so. I like how they're going the mystery angle. To also keep um, any anime onlys on their toes, at least the ones that haven't played the game that this is based off of. You know, I kind of like all these character designs. <laughs> Alright. I just want it's going to cause you know, to have uh, like a friendship with her because she shows up really, really prominently. <laughs> That also explains why the pictures look slightly off, too. Oh. Really? 
But then again, even if QB says that, who the hell knows if QB is even telling the truth? In regards to small QB. Aw, that's cute. <laughs> Okay, that seems pretty ominous. Oh, another match of a girl. Guan, by the way she's running, she's probably a newbie. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I love how they said that in sync. <laughs> And I like how the fight actually... Oh. Oh, that's a cool looking blood. I mean, I can't blame her for being harsh because grief seats are hard to come by. Because if you don't have enough of those, then a magic girl does become a witch. So I could see why they're, they would act that way. I kind of like the cannonball design there. That looks pretty good. They should dodge. <laughs> just move. Just have one of them move to the left and then to the right, and they're fine. But and again, it kind of does establish that the Kaede girl doesn't seem to be a quick thinker on her feet. Actually, it's a nice world building. I thought that would actually be a place that writes canceling services for Magical Girls. Hmm. You know, thinking on it, that would have probably been hell. Oh man, it and I wish uh, those services would have been there for girls like Sayaka from the original Madoku. Might have been helpful for her. Maybe. Oh. 
Well, they shouldn't have had it be in Kamiya City, though. <laughs> Sucks. I mean, it's a shame it couldn't be in, like, a safer city. Whoa, is he actually going with it? Aw, <laughs> that's sweet. Although that seems like it could be potentially dangerous though because there's a lot of witches in Gamio City though. Chain Witch done to justify they having so much heat on its head? Is it. Unless it's killed like a lot of magic overalls. Oh. <laughs> I, I honestly hope nothing bad happens to any of these girls. And no, I'm not trying to jinx them. Just saying. I mean that earnestly. I hope nothing bad happens to them. Now, if something bad happens to them in future episodes, then shit. Although, why does it feel like Kadi? There's a lot of death lines on her. Shit. That's the only thing that's worrying me a little bit. can scout it out during nighttime when the hospital's closed. I'm just trying to like... I can see why she's pissed though because they technically did lose a whole day that they could have been hunting for the chain witch. And in a way I do like this, it sort of establishes that all the Matro girls in Kamiya City, they mean business. Wait, what? Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, okay, I know that. <laughs> oh, yeah, when she transformed into Momoko. Got a point. That's not selfish at all, though. Mm. 
She kind of did indirectly, even though she didn't, that wasn't her intention. Whoa! Yo, talk about throwing the laundry in, out the street. Jeez. Okay, I'm thoroughly reassuring to see that. This ain't the first time, so they can just make up in the future, hopefully. Okay, I can only help though Momoko didn't just accidentally put a death flag on someone saying that. I mean, she tried her best, though. I mean, that's the thing, though, whenever friends argue or acquaintances, something just gets worse when you try to make it better. It's like trying to put out a fire, a chemical fire with water, not knowing it's a chemical fire and making the water worse. That's the comparable situation right now. then <laughs> and then again youngins are bound to some youngins are bound to do crazy things or risky things Probably right. Yeah. And that's how I think gave it away. <laughs> Probably should not have been carrying that. Yo, how long can she utilize those abilities? Jeez. I mean, hey, on the upset, at the very least, they found what they were hunting for.
Oh. Okay, looks like Momoko's joke might have actually... Wait, what? She actually went that far. I gotta say, it's... It's interesting to see a witch go for the psychological attack. Gives this series another layer. Okay, y'all. Uh, I wasn't trying to jinx anyone. I was. I. Uh, fuck! It happens every single time. Like whenever I say, "Oh yeah, I hope nothing bad happens to a character," and then bad thing happens to the character. Fuck! Ugh. I apologize to all the Kade fans. I honestly. But I call it how it is. She had death flags all over her. I mean, I, I smelled it a mile away. I've seen way too many Matcher Girl animes to like, to like not be able to sniff that out, all the death flags. It's unfortunate though, because I really did like God and she was cool. And I like the ED. ED is really cool too. It has like a, I like that film reel thing it has. It looks good. <laughs> and the song is nice. Please watch again, Sagishi Koshi. Okay, I gotta admit that. That looks good. Alright, that was a great episode. I'm gonna rate it a, a 9 out of 10. I was gonna rate it an 8, but then that twist at the end, I was like, I gotta pump it up an extra few points. Because holy shit, that, that was amazing. I ain't gonna lie. Ah. Uh, you know, that, that, was, that was a stressor. Now, though, on the episode itself, it did a lot. For one, we kind of did see witches do psychological attacks in the original Madoka. In, like, one of the episodes where Madoka was about to be... Um, about to be eaten by a witch before she got saved by Sayaka. When it was doing psychological attack... Attempting to do psychological attack against Madoka. I like how here, though... They do an expansion on that because aside from the psychological attack, you get the witch straight up talking, actually saying words. So that makes them a bit more creepier. So that's what I like about this episode. It actually makes the witches feel much more menacing. So I loved that. Then aside from that, the story, I thought it made a lot of plot progression because at the very least, they found the chain which they were looking for, just not in the circumstances that they wanted to find it in. And it's another case of, be careful what you wish for, because the desire was to find the chain witch, and they found it, but... Looks like Kaid is done for the, for the count. I hope not, but... Damn, I ever thought, oh man, I really, I really liked her design and her personality. So there's that. So this episode also raised the stakes. I thought the characters were nice introduced. I thought Momoko was interesting. 
I thought Kylie was funny, and I thought Ren, Rena, even though she was a bit hardcore, there's probably some kind of backstory regarding why <clears throat> she's hardcore. So I'm gonna just wait and see before I make more judgments on her. Visuals were beautiful as always. I especially liked the condom ball. It looked great. And yeah, thought it was a great episode. So don't worry, y'all. Comment down your thoughts on how about my reaction in the comment section below. Be sure to rate the video, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great and safe day. Bye-bye.